Tony, that's quite a lot of change occurring in Yarra Valley Water. How are you approaching the evaluation of the process and in fact how do you know that it's working? Well I'd come straight back in to the um, effectiveness of our strategy. Mm. You know, if we're delivering the outcomes in our strategy then it's working. Um, because the strategy uh, you know, is, is not easy by any means. It requires us to work together, it requires us to be innovative, um, it requires us to be cost efficient. Um, so, you know, if the strategies, um, if we're delivering on a strategy, I know the culture is going in the right direction. Um, on top of that, we also, you know, we measure everything, you know, it's like, um, you know, we've got pages and pages of key performance indicators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got an extensive strategy scorecard, mm -hmm. uh, which is measured up every month. It's a five-year thing, but it's still measured up every month. We do an annual review of that, and we do a sort of a two-, three-year review, a mid-term review on that as well. Um, that information um, goes to our board as well, so the board monitors the same information. Mm -hmm. But it also cascades down into our performance plans. So, you know, my performance plan has a strategy scorecard in it. Same for my direct reports and all the managers, you know, have got KPIs mm -hmm. in their performance plans mm -hmm. and their performance pay uh, to a large extent is based on the achievement of the outcomes in that plan. So, you know, it's very embedded um, and, uh, you know, we've worked very hard to uh, make it very clear to people what's expected of mm -hmm. them, you know. Mm -hmm. So I would, you know, if you walked out of this office now and walked up to any of our, you know, uh, managers and ask them, you know, are, are you clear on what the organisation expects of you? I think they could pull out a piece of paper that says, yeah, here it is. Mm. You know, it is mm. very clear. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, there's always um, uh, less tangible outcomes, which, mm -hmm. which are more of a challenge. So it's easier to measure, you know, did you, did you build that project or didn't mm. you? Yes. Uh, that's quite straightforward. There's always the intangibles around uh, behaviours. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, we do try and measure those things through the human synergistics model, mm -hmm. which is personalised. Um, and if I look at my own example, for instance, I mean, I do those surveys myself as well. Mm -hmm. And I make a point of sharing my personal results uh, mm -hmm. with the organisation. Um, you know, I'll show them, you know, that I've, you know, I've made some improvement in my perfectionism. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully also improved in the more constructive areas as well. Mm. But just having the conversation around mm. that again helps to um, break down the barriers mm. between management and the staff. Mm. They see me as more human um, and I'm, you know, makes me a bit more approachable as well. Um, and it also you know, it, it encourages others to do the same. Mm. And the more open, trusting conversations we can have in the organisation, uh, the better we'll be. Yeah.